good day, Moses. Pixie here. Today we're playing the Technomancer. Uh, just a moment ago, I completed a side quest for Scott. I'm gonna put in all the clips there just to make it a very quick, very basically a summary of what just happened. Uh, not too fancy. Hey, Scotty. Hi, boy. I have a favor to ask you. I've lost something. What'd you lose? Uh, I mentioned one thing. Oh, I am sorry. In fact, it's about a friend. Charles? You remember Charles? No, you can't remember him. Silly <laughs> me, you never met him. Anyway, Charles is a friend. A scientist co-worker. He was way more successful than I, I must say. So, he's a friend, and I lost him. It looks like he disappeared, and I am a bit worried. I know that he was doing some sensitive research. Important. Maybe he ran into problems because of that. Anyhow, it's hard to tell. How do you want me to find him? He has an assistant. Very nice. She used to make delicious pastries. Unless I'm mixing her up with someone else. Anyway, he had an assistant. I'm pretty sure of it. I'll go find her. She must know what happened to him. And if she does, it'll turn out the professor is just in a conference somewhere. Maybe. It's true I don't get invited to conferences as often as I used to. It's rather unfair. I used to love the cocktails they serve. Hey there, I'm looking for Charles Seeker. You know where I could find him? Hmm. And you are? Zachariah Manser. The professor and I have a mutual friend. He's worried about him. I know the feeling. Haven't seen him for days. I'm Veronica Seeker, the professor's oh. assistant. I got a message informing me he had taken an impromptu vacation, but it's not like him. He didn't even like to sleep, said it just wasted time. Even more than likely in the middle of the research he was doing. Yeah, seems a bit off, doesn't it? The professor was supposed to start some research with a friend of mine as well. I'm sure he'd already started work on it before leaving. You know anything about it? Of course. I was involved with the professor's research, though I shouldn't discuss it with anyone without his consent. But with that last name Manser, I suppose this technomancy research is of particular interest to you. Otherwise, most people barely bat an eye towards the scientific aspects of technomancer powers. If you're concerned that the message wasn't really from the professor, did you report his disappearance? To the authorities? Of course not. The authorities, Mr. Manser, have far more pertinent issues than this. Which I'm sure will work itself out in time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Trust me, I get why you're reluctant to talk. I do. Times like these don't exactly instill openness. But my friend's a very close friend of the professor, and neither of us are the betraying type, you know? To be honest, you look like you got some worries on your mind, too. But I'll use a few more people to confide in. Sorry, but I don't know your friend, and I can't just take your word. You can show yourself out, please. It's a damn shame. I have to admit, I would have loved to meet the man myself. Did so many great things. Even read his work in genetics regarding the origins of the primo selfier Earth things with abundance. Brilliant man. And the truth is, he would have been just as interested in meeting you. Technomancers fascinated him, though I'm fairly certain he'd never met one who had ever read his publications. I'm afraid the professor's vocal railings against the ASC and their ceaseless power grabs might have finally come back to bite him. He would even preach to his colleagues and the listeners at conferences. I would give anything to be wrong, of course, but hope is oftentimes incongruous with reality we must come to face. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. I'm sorry, Scott. You were right to worry about your friend. According to his assistant, it seems that he had problems. He was quite critical of the corporation. And you know how dangerous it's been lately. How crazy. How crazy he was. He should have just stuck to his research. How foolish to meddle with politics. He was a very good researcher, you know? He made real progress on the settlers' genetic origins. How sad. And that poor woman who must be worried, sick. Listen, I thought... 
Anyway, maybe you could... What's going on? I know that I'm asking a lot from you, but I was wondering if maybe... You could continue to investigate. You are someone important now. You know a lot of people. They can tell you if Veronica's suspicions are justified. I can probably talk about it with my captain, or tap into some contacts in the know. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to be sure, you see. I think that you need to recover his latest research. I strongly believe that. Besides what he said, he found something dangerous. The ASC. They're thugs. We must not allow sensitive scientific research to fall into their hands. The risks are too high. I'll see what I can do, but I doubt that Veronica will give me Charles' documents willingly. She's very protective of her boss's work. Veronica, I need a favor. I'm looking for access to the professor's compiled research documents. Might be a big help to me. It's just not my work to share, Zachariah. If he came back, I don't think he'd be too pleased to find out I handed it away. You ever find out what happened to him? I'm still looking for leads. Just finding dead end after dead end. I'm still looking. I keep hoping he just took a vacation. I know better. That man could never relax. Let me know if you hear anything, will you? Lieutenant Zachariah Manser, I think congratulations are in order. Captain Eliza Major, welcome to my unit. The honor is mine, Captain. For now, we're stationed in town and focusing on missions intended to maintain order and safety among the civilians. Here are the two other fine soldiers making up your unit for the time being, David Ward and Jeffrey Hunter. My pleasure, Lieutenant! Congratulations, and... Leave the ass-kissing for later, soldier. Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Captain. Excellent. Moving on to more pressing matters, our mission just came in, and it's aimed at smothering regime opposition. According to the intel the ASC gave us, those terrorists live in the slums and are plotting several attacks to undermine our corporation. Your mission is to infiltrate the terrorists, stop the attacks, and find your way to their leader, Bulgakov. Orders are to capture Bulgakov alive. We're going to drain him for intel about other terrorist cells and dismantle the entire network. So beat him only as much as you need to take him. You got it, Captain. Move quickly. The longer you take, the more risk there is to the citizens of Ophir. And I won't have that. Before you go, though, there's one more mission. One requiring speed and discretion. We have deserters in our ranks, Lieutenant. Deserters planning to flee like rats through the city's underground. That won't happen. Do you understand me? You find them, and you eliminate them. Each and every one. That seems harsh to you. Setbacks against Aurora have ruined our reputation, to the point that every action we take is scrutinized and extorted by those seeking to gain from our fall. A mass desertion would spell scandal if it became public. You catch them before any word of their escape comes out. So move, now. You only have a few hours. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? There was a professor, Charles Seeker, who disappeared a while back. I'd really like to find out what happened to him. I don't know why I should give a damn when it has shit to do with your mission orders, Lieutenant. But if an answer will get you refocused on where your mind should be, give me a minute. Let me just begin by saying I really hope this professor wasn't a friend of yours, Lieutenant. And I'd hate to learn you're not a better judge of character than to befriend the likes of rebel insurgents. He's been sent to a re-education camp outside the city. Forget you ever knew him, Lieutenant. Even if he was just a friend of a friend, like, say, that old drunk you keep around, Scott Seeker, and I'll try to do the same. Show too much concern for enemies of the Corporation, and one might find themselves labeled one too, Lieutenant. Please, choose your friends more carefully in the future. Veronica, I need a favor. I'm looking for access to the Professor's compot. It's just not my work to share. From what I could gather, he was arrested and thrown into the correctional camp. Apparently, his criticism of the government was more important to them than his work. The times we live in, I guess. I don't even know what to... Such a loss. A waste. 
Maybe his work shouldn't be abandoned. If he's not coming back anytime soon, or at all, then you can do good with it. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. Unfortunately, I've received confirmation of what Veronica suspected. Charles was arrested and deported to a camp as a punishment for his comments. I'm sorry, Scott. I did bring back his research, though, since you wanted it. Thank you, Zachariah. A camp? How awful. But what is happening to our dear abundance? We won't beat Aurora if we get rid of our scientists. Anyway, I'll take a look at these documents. No doubt our dear Charles was worried. They're coded. It's funny, it reminds me of the code we used as students, so that the professors wouldn't know about our adventures. All this is a little far away. I'm gonna have to think about it. Thank you, Zach. Thanks again. And we are currently looking for deserters as part of the main quest line. If you lose track of things, check your journal. All the requests can be found there. This tracking can be activated or deactivated. Good to know. To get to. I mean, I'm sure these underworks are vast, but still, you think they want to join enemy lines? They're trying to get away from the war, the fights, and after what they saw, we can't really hold that against them. Why was I assigned to this unit? I like these giant underground caverns. Very nice. Oh, hello. Oh, these are a lot tougher than the first one we fought. They can use the electrical energy against us. Ooh. Oh, fact. Yeah. Ooh. And also, I found out something. Draining serum from animals doesn't reduce your karma. That being said, I did just kill two people by draining the serum because I thought it was part of the quest. Because I was supposed to kill deserters, and apparently I wasn't supposed to kill those particular people. So, um, yep. Blood on my hands. I mean, I'm sure these underworks are vast, but still, you think they want to join enemy lines? They're trying to get away from the war, the fights, and after what they saw, we can't really hold that against them. this unit. Let's just take these guys from range. Oh. Oh. Here I'm again.
go through here. What? Why not? Go through here. Just pull pull yourself up and you get to oh. You're a soldier, you should be able to pull yourself up that. And now I'm lost. Or which way it came from. Climb this. There we go. At this point, do I start killing them? First, I search them. Take everything. So, I think that I'm going to pause for just a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 